Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. I'd like it to be longer so that I've got the rear hitch on it right here, of the big long one, and then have that one there on the back. I think that would be better, because this is 60,000, this is the same capacity as the other one. I'm not really sure. So I, yeah, I, I'm I'm unsure about that. No, that's only 55,000. I'm unsure about that. I don't think we'll go with the Super. Although, wait a minute. Oh, no, of course. If you have the Super B, we can just put the front bit there together, can't we? We, we can basically have a long train. So I could put several of those together. That is one option that we could do. We, we could do that, and that's still sort of not going with increased capacities on anything, and I have... Uh, just sat here for absolutely ages doing nothing, which was not quite part of the master plan. Um, let's go here. I don't think I can skip the night once I've gone past midnight. I think I've literally just got to sit here and wait it out now. Spent so long in there. Oh, yes, I can. I didn't think I could. And you can see now we've changed over. We've got ripe crop. It's now late summer. Day five, late summer. We've changed over to the ripe crop on here. Now, if I look up there, if I press escape and I look again, it is still spreading fertilizer on the field up there. So he's coming round for his final pass, and then he's going to start doing the land work. I think we will actually stop that one. Once he gets back up over here, we'll stop him, and we'll, we'll just leave it at that. My animals right now, you're fine, you're fine, and you're fine. So I, I haven't, like, run out of food on the animals or anything. I'll leave him go. I'm, I'm not going to get in. I'm not going to get involved with that. And what I do want to get involved. What? Wait. If if you run out of food, oh dear. Right. I thought I was on 270 something thousand for that one. Apparently, I'm not 270 something thousand for that one. I am on 27 thousand and something for that one. So we'll go and take a trailer load of silage right here. And we will dump that over into there, and then we can... Don't need to worry about hay by the look of it. I think I've got enough. How much have I got in there? I have 35,000 litres of hay and straw we're definitely fine with. So this should be enough now to last us until our harvest. That's all we need. We need this little bit in here, and then a bit more beside... Well, no, we... we just this trailer load that should be enough to last us with cattle feed until we start our harvest with our four combines running up and down the field how i'm going to be able to make this work with four combines i don't know i i really have no idea if i'm going to be able to have this working or not but it could be interesting and i like the idea of having a slightly longer road train um, so we could, like, do that with a proper road train sort of configuration. Um, I'd rather just work in the field as it is without having to, um, shunt it around and using, uh, chaser bins and stuff like that. I think it's just going to take too long to try and deal with chaser bins and stuff. I think we're going to end up coming into, we we get, oops, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do that. Uh, we're just going to end up, like, running into problems if we try and use chaser bins and things. I don't think we are going to be able to do it effectively enough to make it work. Let's go and put food in for the chickens. Right there. Uh, there. And then I can go and we can do the pigs as well. Go on. Just dump that in there. Excellent. That's nicely done. 737,000 euros. The milk that we get from our cows is more than a little bit ridiculous it's got to be said it is more than a little bit ridiculous the amount of milk that we get from our cows at the moment um and it's it's not just the milk that we get from the cows it's the amount of money that we get from them oops i didn't actually mean to do that i've, I've, I've um pressed the wrong button on there i selected i selected the different trailer instead of just having it on the tip thing so then i want to go there with the canola and i want to tip that one out so that you're done. And then I want to go to the corn over here. So that you're done as well. Okay, pigs have fed. And we can go and skip the night to day six, late summer. One more round of feeding for the animals. 
We probably won't need to feed them on the first day of autumn. We'll probably be able to get away with that, especially if we can leave feeding for later in the day tomorrow. And then all we've got to worry about is finishing up that bit in there. You are coming in here and... I think you're... F oh, no, you're not quite into there. And that's where I'm going to stop this one as well. I'm not going to have it doing any more. We've done three times around the edge. We've got a little bit of bonus on the fertilizer all the way over there. So I don't think we need to worry about it. So I'm just going to go into here. I'm going to stop driver like that. I'm going to clear that course. And I'm going to take you back to the yard. We will skip another night right here. We will go 11 hours of absolutely wonderful beauty sleep and when we are beautifully sleeped and refreshed and feeling much better we can now have a little scoot around we are on the final day of summer we've got a little tiny bit of food that we need to put in for the cows just just to keep them ticking over a bit so we'll go and put a little tiny bit of food in for the cows which i've got right here and I'll start ticking the timescale along a little bit faster just as soon as I've gotten this bit of food in for them. And then we can go and start speeding everything up once more. And, you know, I can just start speeding everything up right now because I can bring that one in along there and start dumping that in. And there we go. So those are being dealt with. The pigs... We will give them a bit more food later in the day, and that will last them. And I'm hoping if all goes well, our wheat will be ready to start harvesting bright and early first thing in the morning. This is what I'm hoping. I don't know I don't know if it actually is, but uh, I'm, I'm hopeful. I am always hopeful. How are we doing in here? I'm going to get another trailer load of this completely filled up, and then we'll bring that one and put that in, see how that does. And I'm hoping that we don't need any more after that. Like, we sh that should be about it. That, that should be, like, we're, we're on our last days. We're on our last sort of um, quantities of everything that we're using up. So I'm hoping that there will be enough in there. If I go and dump you in there like that, it's 64,000 litres by the look of it for that trailer load. Um, That will hopefully be enough if so long as the wheat is ready to start harvesting tomorrow on the first day of autumn then we've got enough here to be able to load everything up with the um thingy right here and load everything up with the cattle and stuff like that so we, we hopefully it will all work we we could do with putting a bit more stuff in there which is the hay um but i'm i'm Hopeful that this um, uh, hope hope is a word that I'm using an awful lot towards the end of this series. We're doing most of it on hope and uh, prayer and just kind of winging it as we go through. So um, we will see. I mean, th there's a good chance that we'll be able to get through it all. There is a good chance that we will be able to accomplish everything that we've set out to accomplish. And once all of it has sort of been finalised. Um, we get all the harvest done, and then that's it. Right right here, see, we've got 14,000 left. So I'm going to leave that one there a second. I'm going to jump over to you. We're going to run round and feed the chickens and the pigs. We're getting towards lunchtime now. We could actually wait a little while before we put food in for them. If we wait until the evening, then that will last through for another day. So I'm going to just bring that one over there like that, and I'm going to leave that there. I'm not going to go any further than that. You, tell you what we could do. We could actually start this. We could hook, hook this one up onto the trailer. I think it's this trailer here that it goes on. So if I was to dump you on there like that. And lower you down and unhitch you. You should just stick onto that trailer and just stay there. I can go and get the other header on. And that one is ready to start. We can get the header on the other combine going as well. And then the idea is that we're going to... I'm going to just lift that one up like that and have it out like that. There we go. That, that's ready to go. Um, the other thing that I want to do is... I'm going to leave it unfolded. It's not actually unfolded. It's folded at the moment. It, it sort of... It's, it's doing this... It keeps doing this weird thing. 
So I'm not quite sure what we can do about that. You right here, we're going to do the same. I'm just going to dump this header in the field, though, because we don't have trailers for the headers for this combine. So we'll set that one to folding up, and then I will set it to unfolding like that because it's it was folded it was actually folded and then you go out of the game and you come back in again and it it changes it round and i don't know why it does it it's slightly irritating that it does do it there we go i can pick you up like that and i'm gonna have to shunt a little bit like this but i reckon that we can probably cope with doing that there we go right bring you round and we will aim to start cutting the field yeah, swing you right round like that. We'll aim to start cutting the field at the piece over on this side. So fairly close to where we are right now. Just over there next to the cows on that little dog leg bit. We'll start cutting there. Like I said before, I am hoping to do this with four combines. That's the idea. We want to run four combines on this. Now you in there. Start tipping that bit out. We've got a little bit left in there to tip. And I got 364 litres of ration left. Let's just go do that one more tick there we go so we've tipped all of that out that the, the cows are now full oops seasons uh cows are now full they should be fine for another day the chickens could do it a bit and uh, pig actually the pigs aren't too bad at the moment they're still only about halfway empty despite us having spent the whole day ticking through time um so we'll whiz along over here while it's still ticking through time and I, I haven't yet gone and gotten my trailers. Haven't, we haven't sorted out the trailers yet, the, the final bit on those. Uh, let me just bring that one back there. I know that we don't have anything under it at the moment. And I'm going to park that trailer uh, tractor right there. I'm not going to do anything with it. Let's start now. We can tip you out. Don't need to go and top up the trailers. We just need to get this one over round to the pigs so that we can get the last of it unloaded. The day is now starting to get a bit shorter. We've gone through the height of summer with the longest days. And at the end of summer when harvest is starting, that's just when the hours are starting to get a little bit shorter. You're getting less sunlight, which is not very convenient, admittedly. You know, just when you really need that little extra few hours of sunlight to really get cracking with the harvest, that's when nature decides, you know what, I've, uh, you, you've had enough sunlight. You, we, we'll change things around now, sunshine, and uh, we're, we're going to do things differently. You're going to have less sunshine for you to cope with. All right, sunshine, that's how it's going to work. Uh, so, you know, Mother, Mother Nature is, is a bit cantankerous at times. She, she does um, do her best to make life difficult for you some days. You, you feel like um, you, you kind of get the impression that she is just out to get you some days. But then you go and have a look at the state that some people leave things. And, yeah, uh, I've seen pictures recently of people going to the beach and the mess that is left behind is absolutely appalling just because they've been on shutdown for on lockdown for the last however many hours days months and um, doesn't mean you have to go and take all of the rubbish that you've accumulated in your grotty hovels and take it out and dump it on the beach there's no need for that but this is what people seem to think that they need to do and mother nature is probably not very happy about that so it wouldn't surprise me at all if she decides to cut some short this year and start uh, bringing the hours back in much, much earlier and basically give us complete total darkness by about September so that, uh, you know, keep, keep the people indoors. It seems to work better for Mother Nature than it does, I mean, uh, the rest of us. We, we, we don't necessarily want that, but uh, it seems to work better for Mother Nature. And there is our field. It is ready. It's ready to harvest. So all we got to do is get four combines here and get going so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to the cattle over here we're going to go to our milk station right there 242,000 liters of milk and i'm going to sell that right there okay that is five hundred and forty-five thousand dollars coming in just like that that's pretty good that's that's not bad going really Half, uh, another half a million dollars. I don't want you. I want the finances over here. I got a three million dollar loan, so we're not going to be paying all of that off at the moment. So I'm not even going to try. I'm going to go to the harvesters over here, and we're going to go with the Lexins. I was thinking about going with an ideal or something like that with a much bigger capacity on it, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try and do this with the standard stuff. So we will go with the Lexian. 
right in here, we've got Wheelbrand, Michelin, Midas, Trailborg. I go with the Trailborg. Uh, we'll set up standard wide tire. We'll go with wide tires. Don't need a GPS on it. And I'm going to lease that bad boy right there. Okay. I'm going to lease another one of those bad boys right there like that. And then I'm going to come out of here. I'm going to go into that one. I'm going to go into headers like that. And I'm going to scroll up through here. And I'm going to go to that one right there, which is the bad boy that we want for the two combines. And I'm going to lease two of those. One and two. There. Now, the next important thing, the, the important decision that we need to make is what are we going to use to unload the combines with? Um, I was thinking about a trailer. Maybe we could have a tractor with an overloader, something like that. But I don't want to do that. That's going to be unnecessarily complicated. I'm going to end up messing it up. So I, I don't really think we want to be doing that. I don't think that is the way forward on this particular playthrough. I think what... Well, wait, that's different. That's... Where's my... Well, that one's all together. That's the Metal Tech one. I had another one of those somewhere. Have I not got it on this? Oh, there it is. Those are the agro liners I'm used to looking at. This is a different one. I remember seeing this one. Wheel brand, wheel setup. Lizard, Michelin, Nokian. Michelin is wide tires. Nokian is wide tires. Lizard is standard or wides. Huh. I don't remember seeing that one. I don't remember seeing that on other packs. I don't know where it came from. Came from somewhere. Right, we got the pace setter, or we got the pace setter by Stevie. That one has 90,000 litres in it. That one has 60. Then we've got the whole road train configuration over here. There's this basic one right here, which is 55,000 litres in total. That is 60,000 litres in total. But what I'm kind of thinking is this is all one big machine, isn't it? Like, I don't think that I can unhitch that. I think this is just one. I was thinking that, you know, we go with two sections of this. But I don't think that's going to be an option. Disappointingly, I don't think I've actually got a decent, you know, like a proper road train mod. I do have one uh, available, but I forgot to actually make sure that I had it ready. And that's one that was very kindly made and given to me by Ducky, Duck Zorley. Um, I have noticed, and he's noticed... Uh, we, we had a little bit of a joke going on between us, uh, just a little bit of uh, gentle ribbing between us on our hardcore place playthrough where he was teasing me for the number of logs that I'd cut and I was teasing him for the way that he'd cut his logs and so on. Um, some people seem to have taken that a little bit seriously. It is just a joke. Me and Ducky are friends, right? It is just a joke between us and, and nothing more. There is nothing serious. There's no, no like, so th there really doesn't need to be any unpleasant messages sent to anybody involved because we're not actually being mean to each other. We are saying we're actually keeping it a lot more polite than we are to each other behind the scenes. I can promise you that. Um... But, yeah, we're friends. It's We're not bashing each other in a, any kind of serious way. So, please do not take it seriously. But Ducky made a set of trailers, or he modified a set of trailers, with some really cool artwork on the side for me. Um, and I forgot to have them. I am going to be using them quite a lot on the next series, so I didn't want to use them on this one. But I'm kind of thinking maybe it would have been better if we'd used them on this one. Let me just get that trailer there a minute, and we'll see what we can do with it. Whether we can unhitch the, the front and back bits. I'm curious on this now. So I want to go to the... There. I want to go to the truck at the moment. Now, this is a 90,000 litre capacity on here. I could always turn this into a road train. We'd get a dolly, another one of these trailers whacked onto the back. And that would work. We would be able to do that. I probably want something with a little bit more oomph under the bonnet rather than this particular truck that we got right here, but it will still do the job. So we will we'll see about using this one, but it's these trailers. Curious what we can do with them, whether or not I can... I'm just going to unhitch that one there a minute, and I'm going to come over here and take out the sign, and then we're going to go up and get these trailers on. Now, can I unhitch the back one, or is it one... Ooh! Looks like... I might be able to unhitch the very back one. Now, if I can, what I can do is I can just get several of these and join them all together. So 
So if I do that a minute and then I go to there, I can unhitch that one. And now I've got the whole road train malarkey. First up, can I return that bit? Does it have to return as a whole section or does it just return as the, the one section? I, I don't really know about that. But what we can do is we can go back and we can get another one of these, I'm hoping. And then we've got a little bit extra. Now, I mean, I was looking at this one, but it doesn't look like you've got a hitch on there, but it doesn't look like you've got a hitch on the very back. So you've got this front section and that section, which would be great, but you don't have any more of those sections that can trail along behind in, like, extra, just a, a bigger line of them. So we'll go, actually, actually, because I was thinking of having one of the bigger trailers, but no, I'm, I'm thinking kind of, let's, let's think outside the box here a little bit with this, and what are we doing with the cut, look, the, oh, the, okay. Colours are dull. We, we, the, the design is, is just the, the bit around the edges and or possibly the covers, but we're not really going to be using the covers. Uh, blue. Yeah, it's just the covers. Just the covers on those. So we'll go with jet and we'll leave it at that. Um, so back out of that one a second and then go on to this one here. And get another one of these. Design colour. See, it's the same. And then the main colour is... We don't have a lot of options on the main colour, so we'll just leave it like that. So at least that one as well. Yes. And okay. Now, what I'm hoping is I can get another one of the front ones. So that we got those two. And then we've... So this has got 30,000 litres. Right? And then the next bit, that's also going to have 30,000 litres. So I bring you back round over here like this. You're going to also have 30,000. Actually, you know what we're going to have to do? I'm going to have to bring this one and get that other set of trailers on first. And then we'll back them in and hitch them on one at a time. Rather than trying to back the other two together. Because I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm, I, I might be good, but I'm not that good. I'm really not that good at all. And we'll bring you back in here. We can hook that. Excellent. Yes, fantastic. We can hook that one on. Okay, now, this this is looking promising, actually. This is looking promising for a decent road train. I'm liking the look of this. A decent road train. This is, this is what I wanted. So I will go to you, and I'll jump you off there. Then we will spin round again, and we'll go and get another one. So the 90,000 litre trailer on the back, I'm not going to use that. No, we're going to just stay parked in the field for now. We won't worry about that one. And I'll bring you over this way. And then I will go and get that one right there so i don't want the bit on the back at all i'm just going to unhitch i'm gonna leave that one there we're not going to use that it's this one here that we want it's thirty thousand liter capacity on this one and then those are 30 30 and the back one i'm guessing is the twenty five thousand because it's fifty five thousand in total for that configuration whereas this configuration was 60. so if i put that onto there We've got 115,000. 115 is not too bad. But what about the truck? So look in the garage and see what we've got for the actual truck. There's this one right here. It's only 462 horsepower. I don't remember what... I mean, what have we got? We got... That one there is the one that I've got, which is the base game truck. I don't think I had that much in the way of additional trucks that I... Uh, additional truck mods. What are you? What are you? What, what what are you able to go up to? Engine setup right there, five hundred thousand. That's looking a bit more like it. Kind of like that idea. So he's only got a twin wheel. He's he's only got twin wheels on there. You're a bit bigger. I got a man truck there by Stevie. Ideally, I'd like another Phoenix. I like the Phoenix Agros. I, I'm, I'm quite partial to those trucks. Anyway, oh there we go. Phoenix Agro by Stevie. This is what we're going to need. To be able to pull our hundred odd thousand, we're going to want something with a little bit more gumph under the bonnet. Engine setup right there. Phoenix 6x6 Agro truck. As we start off at 462, we go to 647. Right, so 647 is the option that we've got on there. We can go for all the colours of the bow right here. We can choose whatever we want. So I think I'm going to go with the Massey. We, well, our last one was kind of a yellow-red colour, wasn't it? Let's, let's do something a bit different. We've got white trailers all the way through. And we're using class, aren't we? We're using class. Let's see if we can make this one look a bit more like class. If we go there, like that. That's looking a little bit more like the class machine, isn't it? 
That that does kind of fit there. I like that. Right. Uh, configuration standard. Additional trailer. We'll we'll stick an additional trailer hitch on there just in case. And we will lease that one as well. There we go. I'm not going to buy any of them. I'm just going to lease them. So you... I need to go all the way through and unhitch there. 115,000 litres on that bit. That's a good start. Now, the combines, they've only got 18,000 litres capacity in the tank. So, we're going to struggle with those a little bit, I think. I think we're going to struggle a bit with them in order to keep them all running. But, I mean, we can, we can work with that. That's something that we can just kind of work with as we go along. So you, I was just wondering if I should not bother getting any of it. Like I've got a lot of stuff in between some of these combines, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to do like a lot of cycling through to get the combines. I'm wondering about selling the getting rid of these two so that I can easily cycle between all the combines in the field and also without having to go through all of the machinery that we've got. Might make it a lot easier. I think we'll do that. I think we will do that. So let's go to into the garage a second. And first up, we've got leased items. There's two combines there and two headers. And it is just those. So we, we oh, it's the other ones that we own. We want to sell them. So that one there I'm going to sell. Yes. Okay. And that one I'm going to sell as well. Fantastic. And then I'm going to sell both the... Well, I don't know. I don't need to sell the headers, do I? They can just stay there and... I, I will sell them because they're not going to be fully repaired and everything. So we could end up having some problems. So we'll just sell them just to make it easier. So you get rid of that one. And then everything is back at the yard. And get rid of that one. I won't worry about the corner headers. They can stay there for a minute. Right. I've now got $2 million. Which is not bad. This is, that's not a bad way to earn yourself a little bit of money by selling some combines that are worth over a quarter of a million apiece. I want those, they're uh, wide tyres that we wanted on them, and I want to lease two of these delivery space blocks. Of course it is. So we'll come out of you, like that. I will go to that one. And I'm just going to hoik this trailer out of the way. And I need to get the other two combines, and we need to load... Just, well, not load necessarily. It's, it's hitch up these headers. Get them out of the way as well. So let's just haul you over here. So this trailer here is essentially useless. Can't do anything with it. I'm just going to park it in the field right there. And, and I'm going to go and get the front of this road train on. This road train is looking savage. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm actually, like, I think this is going to be fun. I mean, yes, I'm apprehensive because we are about to embark on a big course play. Uh, challenge and I was told by a number of people that I've only got to just start using course play I've got to get used to course play and once I get used to course play I will love it and I will want to use it from this point on having done this series all the way through with as much course play as possible I can say unequivocally Hand on heart, I don't like cosplay. I am not a fan of cosplay. I've used it extensively. I've, I, you, I think we can say, I think we can all honestly and safely say that I have given cosplay a really good shot here, haven't I? I've, I have given it a good chance. I have done my best with cosplay. I've, I've really tried with cosplay, and I still don't like it. I still do not like cosplay at all. I find it to be unnecessarily complicated. Um, I, I don't really like it, and it's, it's, yeah, I, I, I just don't enjoy using it. Just don't enjoy using it at all. And it, it does the job, and it's great, and it is, it does give you... Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that... If you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.